Today is a very exciting day for anyone working in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And that is because today, less than a month after Resolve came out on the iPad, Motion VFX, the most popular producer of plugins and presets for Resolve has made, I think, the vast majority of their presets and plugins available and compatible on the iPad. I'm excited to walk through this and show it off. Uh, disclaimer, right off the bat, I work for Motion VFX. I'm also wearing their merch to help communicate that. I'm a part of the team that makes these presets and plugins for DaVinci Resolve, but this is not a sponsored video. They did not ask me to make this video. They will not see this video uh, before it goes live. However, I am a member of their affiliate program as well. Um, so the link in the description to send you to Motion VFX, that will be an affiliate link if you want to check out more. But with that out of the way, let's hop to the iPad. If you head over to the App Store, um, you can look for uh, M Installer for iPad. It is right here. Um, they also tweeted about it. I'll put a link either to the App Store link or maybe to their, their tweet in the description. Um, I know for new apps, um, like when Resolve first launched, it, it's not always like up to date in search. Uh, but M Installer for iPad is what you want. I've already downloaded this. And when you launch that and after you sign in, you will see um, the um, DaVinci Resolve presets that you have already purchased for use on desktop. I do have a fair amount here, um, but because I do work with Motion VFX, I have sort of like an unlocked account for testing and all these other things, but this makes it very easy to test um, several of these. Um, so all we have to do, we can scroll through, look for something we like. If you want like a quick video primer, hey, click the play button. and you'll get a little uh, video walkthrough, which is fun. Uh, one thing I do want to point out first, um, if you scroll through, occasionally you will see these little eye buttons, and if we check any of those, you'll get a pop-up um, here that says information presets with multiple video drop zones will display only one video due to current iPad limits. This concerns, and then uh, placeholders, which is a section of this specific pack. Um, we have that on a few of these. These will be due to the current limitations of Resolve on the iPad, but I think it's, it's worth noting for sure that the fact that these work at all are a testament to um, just what's going on with Resolve, that we do have like uh, the full engine of Resolve and specifically the full Fusion engine in the iPad version already. So a lot of these um, are just able to be transferred over. I'm sure there are also a handful of tweaks and, and compatibility and that sort of stuff. But now we can get to some fun stuff. Uh, I'm gonna grab this MTuber 2, um, which I know uh, lots of uh, uh, YouTubers uh, select. One second, I should watch this. It's like proper folder for automatic product installation. Ooh, very cool. This is something I've talked about previously. And if you don't know, I put out a pack of uh, some of my free presets that I tested that work on the iPad and I uh, go through sort of this process manually, but this is very cool as well. If I go to show files, then all I have to do, I think it auto navigated to the correct location. Um, if it doesn't do this for you, I already have some DRFX files of my own installed. So maybe it knew that. Um, if not, you just go to on my iPad, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, templates. Uh, I believe that should be good. I don't know whether it wants me to go to edit as well. I don't think so. I think that should be good. And then I just click open. Oh, wrong path. Oh, wait, resolve. Oh, just resolve. Okay, cool. Show files on my iPad. Click once on resolve. Click open. Ooh, this is probably for some like of the font stuff they're doing as well. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so I did that. Now can I click on MTuber? Ooh. Uh, complete, now you can go to Resolve, and if you don't see them, refresh or restart the app. Cool, I'll grab that one. I'll also grab the uh, MKBHD pack. Um, oh, I get the notification for that. Oh, we have a new MTuber, MTuber 3. So now we have both of those. Cool, ooh, mTutorial is fun. It will be hard not to grab all of these. Ooh, mMatrix. I'm pretty sure this is actually a free download, which you might be able to get check. Uh, if, if M Matrix is free, I will specifically link that in the description because that could be something you could you could test right off the bat. Fun. And uh, M Measurements is a new one as well. I'll grab that. Ooh, this is cool. Got it. And now if I hop over to Resolve, I have a project open, so we'll see if I need to restart. Um, something like Titles. And if I start scrolling, yeah, we have these MVFX. Okay, something important. On the desktop version of Resolve, on the edit page, when you open up the effects library, um, they added the ability to make subfolders for a lot of these presets, and that's super, super useful. Um, here, um, all those subfolders are built into the name of the effect, which is how it currently works um, in the desktop version uh, on the cut page, which is like what we have here. Um, I am highly expecting that to be an update coming, hopefully in the near future, with a whole lot of other cut pages changes as well. Um, that will definitely clean up, um, especially this, because now we grabbed several packs, and now all of these are under Motion VFX here. 
Ooh, there is a few of them, but I have a simple timeline here. Oh, I also uh, have this mouse so you can see where I'm actually looking. I was using my finger before. So we have like a few clips on this timeline. Uh, these second ones we have trimmed to mess with some um, uh, uh, transitions in a bit. But now if we come to this first clip, we can look for something. We are in titles here. Uh, let me just grab this like subscribe button template. Oh, click hold. Yeah. And now, boom, get to the beginning. Play that back. We got a little pop up. Subscribe, turn on the notifications and like. Awesome. Now here is something cool. Also on the cut page, current limitation, we don't have that caching bar, but if we jump over to the color page, I click this button here to switch over to a timeline. Um, then we will have a cache page if we enable it. We might need to do that on a clip basis. If I right click here, no, we don't have that. But if I come to settings, general options, we do have the cache currently set to none. Uh, I'm gonna change this to smart because we don't have options to define where user is. If I click save, then it should cache this title, but we need to check if that's working over on the color page. Yeah, so now we have this red bar and then as it caches, as it plays back, that should cache. This will turn to blue, great. And then we should have completely smooth playback on that when we go back to, oops, when we go back to the cut page, back at the beginning, click that. Yeah, now that graphic comes in great. Very cool. Uh, let's try this one because this looks interesting and like it has um, this little uh, file that can come in as well. Ooh, yeah, this has a drop zone. So if I open up the inspector here under avatar controls, we have this little file browser. Let's see how this works. I can browse. Um, do I have any stills here? Um, I have a still of um, resolve. Ooh, that doesn't look like it's coming in right now. Ooh, this is a TIFF. Maybe it doesn't like that. Uh, I will just browse again. This is using the loader node, so it does need an image. I don't have a ton of images on my iPad right now. Okay, I tried a screenshot and it crashed. <laughs> Come back here, inspector. Browse. The screenshot is actual. There we go. Okay. If you actually use the correct a correct image, we should be good. Um, we have the scale. That's good. Um, this this position and the loader. Also, oh, inside scale is what we want as well. We could scale this up, position it over. Boom. You can get your images loaded on as well. Very very cool. Let's check. Uh, let's check out a transition. I will come to these clips. Transitions over here. If I scroll, we should have lots of motion VFX ones here. Let's let's try a matrix transition, huh? Drop that on. And if I come back, play, we'll see how this process is as well. We get a little matrix zoom. Fun. Fun, fun. Uh, I believe if I hop over to the color page, that should... Oh, that, that has cached as well if I play it back. Yeah. Oh, man. Fun. I'm sure I could get carried away and show off uh, tons of presets just for a while walking through new ones. Um, but the point is that uh, this is here and it's pretty exciting, especially if you've already heavily invested in motion VFX uh, presets and plugins for Resolve anywhere else, now you have them on iPad. This is a tremendous strength and really testament to what Blackmagic is doing with bringing Resolve to the iPad. They are bringing Resolve and everything that goes with it. If you already have motion VFX presets uh, and you've been playing around or doing serious work on the iPad, absolutely go grab them. I'm actually gonna look it up right now. I'm, I'm gonna look it up right now. M Matrix, boom. M Matrix, get it free. Cool, if you wanna mess around with it, just grab the Matrix pack. There's some cool transitions and text and titles and other stuff. And if there are any packs that you've had your eye on that you wanna pick up, uh, the link in the description will send you right to that site. And now that you can use those on the iPad as well, it's, ooh, it's pretty, I think this is, it's just straight up exciting. <laughs> As a lot of you might know, I am heavily invested in just the space of uh, Resolve presets and templates. I have a lot of my own. I have dozens of free presets you can check out at strongsupply.co. Um, I wanna have a follow-up soon, uh, going a little bit more into depth with my presets and like what works on the iPad, what doesn't, and I will um, mark those on the site as well. But with Motion VFX bringing so much of their catalog over to the iPad, it's it's pretty wild how much the capability of Resolve on the iPad has, has almost changed overnight. Are you as excited as I am? Do you already have some Motion VFX presets? Have you picked up um, some of their free ones in the past? Is this something that really appeals to you? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, we'll be hanging out there doing some cool stuff. I'm gonna uh, try to get this video out uh, pretty quick because uh, this is pretty exciting. This is the first day this is launched. So if you run into issues, uh, try to be kind. I, I think it's, it's wild they got it done in a month at all and I know they want to uh, keep making making the best stuff out there for the most people to uh, use and enjoy and use in their work. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.